My main issue was that I carried a lot of stress in my upper body, especially my neck and my upper back. So I would get very frequent flare-ups, um, meaning that, I don't know, sometimes I couldn't sleep or I used to get really horrendous headaches. Um, and that was pretty much the majority of my issues stemmed from that. Um, and I chose physio because my brother started here and he <laughs> sang your praises. So I was like, okay, let's give it a go, see if it works and then we'll go from there. No. Uh, I didn't really do sports competitively in school. I feel like that's where most people get their first introductions with physio. Um, and then kind of, I've never had a major um, thing that has required me to do physio, but I've had people around me that have like had minor car accidents and stuff where physio is the development. So I knew a little bit about what it involved but I'd never had it done myself. I knew there was some form of kind of rehabilitation with the muscle and everything and kind of talking through um, what, you know, what the issues are and trying to address it. But I, I don't think I was completely knowledgeable about that element of doing the exercises yourself when you leave, um, being able to have a bit more autonomy over your own recovery. That wasn't something that I really knew much about. Uh, exercises were fine. Um, I mean, though they were good is what I should say, because it meant that I could do, I could do it at home. It was easy. I could do it in the office, even though I did get a couple of strange stares when I did the ones where, especially when my neck kind of disappeared into my head. Um, <laughs> but it wasn't challenging to the point where I'm like, oh, I don't have the will to do it. I felt very encouraged by the progress I was seeing after doing the exercises within even the first couple of sessions. So, yeah, no, they weren't too horrible sometimes i think especially in the earlier phase it was quite a lot of work but as we went along i think it improved vastly it was very comfortable i think just from kind of being welcomed in and everything um being able to do the exercises in that space and having someone kind of watch and support you um i think that made it a lot nicer because I worked like I said I hadn't done any form of physio before so I wasn't really sure what to expect like oh I have to sit there in a sports bra will I feel comfortable like that type of thing and it's literally just like okay no we're looking at your recovery we're looking at helping you and that made the whole process through my program feel a lot easier I think I was because this is pain that I've had long term um, and I wasn't sure if it was something that could be fixed um, or improved in such a short period of time. I was a bit anxious about it, I think. I was a bit hesitant in terms of, okay, I'm not sure if this is going to work. <laughs> like I said, going through the process, it just felt a lot easier. And even things where I'm walking into the room and asking, how was your week? How was your pain this week? And I'm able to be like, okay, well, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday was fine, had a bit of a flare up on Thursday. And then, you know, kind of dipping into why potentially I had that flare up on Thursday, as opposed to any other day. It definitely relieved a lot of my anxiety around that, especially because when we had our first session, um, just straight away you being like, okay, I can kind of see the issues here, here and here, made it reassuring that it wasn't just in my head. That is something that you could physically see um, and that we worked to improve. Mm. So, yeah. mm -hmm. Like I could move more. I think that's kind of a minor way of putting it, but my movements feel a lot less restricted. Um, even doing my exercise and everything, I feel the difference. I'm not getting so much pain in certain parts of my neck or my lower back when I'm doing certain exercises because I've been working so much on the strength in my upper body. Um, I think it's also given me this element of being confident when I do have 
things that I'm a little bit like, oh, I have a bit of a niggle or um, my neck's hurting a little bit today. What can I do to relieve that? Mm -hmm. I think everyone's really lovely. Um, I think that's such an important part of getting treatment in a place where you're going regularly. Um, just feeling like, okay, well, I can walk in and have a conversation with the people behind the desk and then, you know, your therapist kind of pops out and it's like, oh, hi, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll take you away. I think that makes it so pleasant, like, like we said with earlier with the anxiety aspect, I think that relieves a lot of it, being able to walk in and just have a conversation with nice people. <laughs> tell them that you know kind of went through the same thing and that I did physio and it changed so much for me that I was able to kind of pinpoint you know where my pain was coming from and how it's so important that we invest in that because I don't think people realize how miserable it can make them until it's actively being relieved mm -hmm. so I would definitely tell them seek out a physio mm -hmm. like seek out this place specifically <laughs> if you're in the area just because it's been such a comfortable process obviously the massages and everything sometimes we're a little bit spicy <laughs> but <laughs> um i think that's just to be expected you know sometimes you have to go through that tiny bit of pain to experience relief um and i think that's something i would highlight Worth it though? Yes, 100%. <laughs> I think this has taught me to be a lot more proactive when I'm experiencing something long term. Um, so obviously we've talked about um, additional treatments that may help. So the massages, etc. which funnily enough, I'm looking forward to because I think it's something that, you know, I'll need mm. coming in month on month and just being like, OK, well, I'll you know, I've had a bit of a struggle this week, but at least I have a massage in the next couple of days, so I can sort that out. And yeah, like I said, definitely has taught me not to wait so long to solve it. Mm -hmm. If you, the earlier you get it sorted, the earlier that you can feel more like yourself again. Thanks very much, Timmy. Thanks, Jack. Always a pleasure to have you. <laughs>